We've gotten our first client and she owns a small business while she also does a nine to five at the same time. Her small business is getting really big right now. And so because of that, to keep up with her demand, she wanted us to come in and reinvent her space so that way she has a little more organization and also have a way to just streamline everything. So, so here's the space before. It's literally an eight by 10, and then we are choosing to use some of the closet, well, all of the closet. Yes, it's a, it's a pretty small room. We're gonna turn her office into a multifunctional space. We're gonna give her an office in the closet while she also has her workspace out here. Tonight, we've given her our homework, and that's gonna be to finish clearing out this room, and she's gonna paint it white, so that way we have a nice blank space to go ahead and get into. This is all gonna be on a budget. So first, we gotta stop at Ikea. Okay, so you know Gentar has grown in the last three years that we is a lot of work to make it work within this small office job. So let's see how this goes. It's me. This is gonna take a while. I don't know if you can see all of this. Here, let me pan in so you can. Oh yeah, IKEA, my very favorite place. So it's all fun and games until you gotta take into the house. I gave her an assignment. She has to clean out her room and she also has to paint her room. So I went to Home Depot today. I picked up the paint and now I'm dropping it off to her so that way we can go ahead and get started. Tonight when I get home, I've got to finish up a few more of the um, cabinet doors. We're gonna sand and tomorrow's painting. So it's it's coming along like the whole project is rolling but i will say it's not without its own hiccups one we realized that we were going over budget so we then had to return things and we had to modify so now instead of getting her all new lamps we'll be spraying painting those spray painting those so that way we did go with the new decor and such um i guess you know you have to be able to a project is just like anything at home you got a budget you got to stick to the budget and then you got to pivot when you go over budget <laughs> so for us at least that pivoting is returning what we can figuring out what we can keep what we can reuse how we can reuse it so that's been a little bit of a time and then on top of it we ordered these tops from home depot they were stainless steel countertops FedEx came by, they said, oh, countertops got dented. Well, I'm gonna do return to sender this morning. So now she's literally on the phone all day trying to get them to either refund or resend her out. And they're like, oh, it was signed for. And we, since FedEx says that it was signed for and it was delivered, no, we can't basically tell her that they can't give her a refund or anything. Like, how crazy is that? So it's a whole ordeal. In order to get the thing here, we had to reorder the countertop again. And it, and you know, it was good because we kind of reimagined it a little bit. So now we're gonna try to see if we can like cut a little cost there as well as using a tabletop that she already has while also just using one instead of the two tabletops I was gonna use. So we shall see. Like I said, this is gonna be one where we're designing on and it now. Quick work my sponsor. Let me tell you. So. Gentar LLC is a plant-based company that specializes in dealing with problematic skin. If you don't know, my girls and I both all suffer from eczema, and so we know a thing or two about problematic skin. Now, let me show you. One of my favorites from her is it's called Apple of My Eye. Because we're redoing her space, she's having a grand reopening September 1st. So if you'd like to find her products, you can find them at gentarllc.com. Use my code Bougie Farmhouse for 10% off. And so to Vanessa, I just wanna thank you for trusting me with your space, your money, your business to be able to just revamp your space for you. So as you can see, we doubled down on IKEA storage. In just two short days, 
we're gonna get started. So, like I said, she has a homework cut out for her. She has to finish clearing out the space. And then she also has to paint this a bright, bright white because she, one of her complaints was her content was always dark. As I stand in here right now, cause she was trying to convince me not to get some paint, but I went to Home Depot, we got the paint, because as I stand in here now, it's getting cloudy and the room is getting darker and darker as I talk. She won't have that problem when we're done. Okay, so I'll see you back in just two short days. Over here was literally my workstation. I also, you can't see it now, but I used to have my desk right over here in this corner. So you can almost see. So like the tower will take up this space here. I have this little bit of space there and that space and it's just way too cluttered. Over here is where I used to have my inventory as well as my <laughs> um, supply stuff. So down on these two units right here, I like over there was where my printer and my file cabinet was. Over here is where I used to have my storage and my oils and stuff. And then up there is where I will put my finished inventory. I definitely have touch up paint for this wall. And I literally hit this touch up and make this so that's taxing. Lucky, let me know. All right, it's the day before install day. And I have to finish getting my office cleared out. So I'll take you guys on the ride. Come on. The thing is, it's Friday. I still had a full work done today, but I also have to get this office cleared out and Miss Tasha <laughs> said that I have to change the color of my room because it will help with me feeling overwhelmed. So, you know, I had to check my girl. Um, we're gonna see how it goes. And so now I'm just having you guys come along with me while I take all this stuff off. So, let's go. Alright, so it's the day before install day. Let me bring it here a little bit. Okay, it's the day before install day. Uh, and we have to do some things inside of here. Yeah, we have some things that we have to get done in order to prep for install day. So Ms. Tosha told me that I had to clear off the wall so that the wall color can be changed. And I went back and forth with her about it. I'm like, girl, the wall is fine. And she's like, no. <laughs> We're working on making sure not only that our office is efficient, but also that it does not give me the overwhelmed feeling, which I, you know, like I told you about. So I am bringing you guys along with me um, and we're gonna get this done. Oh, you see that? That's the one I hurt myself back in April and I was out for eight weeks. Mm -hmm. Here we go. And this is when I realized I don't know how to open up paint or how to paint or what to paint because I only painted once before. And this is her laughing at me. Uh huh. Natasha, and my bougie farmhouse. Okay. <laughs> 